Is the lighting good? I'm in it. Sick. Right. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Prince George. And today, as you can tell by the title, is Hendrix's first walk. You probably might be able to see him out there. Anyway, he's like, we've had him for a month. He's fucking massive already. It's freaking me out. It's, he's growing a kilo a week. A kilo a week. He's making some serious games. And he's taking a piss on the path. Hey! Now he's standing there. He's a bit retarded, but we love him. Anyway, guys, so, I got a, quite a few things to go on in this video, but I'm working on something at the moment with a bro. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to let you guys know what it is, but I'm not gonna say what it is now because it's not finished. But yeah, we'll gloss over that at the end of the video. But right now, it's about to take Hendrix for a walk for the first time, new smells, new sights, People, cars, shit, yeah. Hendrix! Hello! Hey, you wanna go walking? Look how big you are! Look how big you are! Oh! Who is it? Hey! Who's your boo? Look at you! You wouldn't believe he's 12 weeks old. You're 12 weeks old! And you look like you're six months. Make some serious no biting you little shit. Ah, you little bastard. Right, come on in, let's go, let's go. Come on in. Keeps biting as well, I mean look. You see that? I can't really tell if you can see it or not. You bit my face. Dick move. Dick move. Did you look at me with those puppy eyes? Right, let's go take this little shit for a walk. I hope it doesn't rain, because it's looking pretty shit. Not good. Come on in. Oh, by the way, guys, I took my dad's car out for a drive on some amazing driving roads on another video, which I'll show you later on. But I am now insured on the TT. Come on in. Good boy. Oh, shit. Come on in. Oh, shit. I know you're freaking out. It's new smells. As it's his first work, I guess you gotta let him smell shit, figure out where he is, what's going on. As I said, it's not gonna be a long walk, it's gonna be literally, what, 200 meters and then back. If that, what are you doing? Go on in. Sniffs and shit. That there is different grass. That's different grass. Is that is a car coming? Oh! Good boy. What's going on? Hey? How far are you going? Freaking out, in ya? Freaking out? Freaking out? Should we go back? Yeah, we'll go back. Probably gallop back now, because he's already got his scent down. Or not. What are you doing? Ooh, ooh. This way. This way, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you would not believe he's 12 weeks old. He looks like six months old. He's massive. His paws are huge. No one believes his actual real age. He's a tank. He's making all kinds of games. It's a leaf. Come on in. This way. Good boy. Hey. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, that's a dead slug. Don't eat a dead slug. Good boy. Right, we're almost home. Quicker going back. He knows where he's going. Don't eat the poop. Hendrix, 
Come on in, this way. Good boy. It's so black, it's hard to see him. It's like a fucking shadow. Come on in. Let's go. This way. Oh, he's like, where are we going? <laughs> Come on in. He's there going, what the fuck is a car? Hendrix, come on. Tell you what, when I walk him down the seafront, it's going to be a fanny magnet. I'm going to pull all cat the butter. <laughs> Yo, a couple of you bros said on my channel that I can change these barbs out on the A1 for um, a Xenon headlamps, Exxon headlamps. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, like the ultra like bright white lights instead of yellow which i will do i will do that dudes but not just yet and i'll try and do it myself as well i'm shit at manual labor For those who know me i can't build shit i'm the least manliest man known to man i mean fuck it hendrix you want to go inside to get food let's get food good boy you sitting on oh, yes you are you sit and take your lead off. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ready, ready, ready. You're free. Good boy. Go on in. Go get some food. So we've trained him to sit and stuff. And this house is hot with no windows or doors open. So we need to open this shit up. Did you enjoy your little stroll? Did you? Did you enjoy your little stroll? Did you? Yes, you did. Hendrix, this way. Hendrix. He's, he's, uh, he's fucked off and left me. There he is. Oh, good boy. Let's try and get an aerial shot of you. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Get din dins. Din dins, stop the din dins. Din dins. Yeah, I feed him and stuff. It's five o'clock. Time for din dins, Hendrix. Watch this, he literally devours a whole bowl of food, not a whole bowl, like 100 grams of food, which is what it says we should give him for his weight, which is nine and a half kilos. It's nine and a half kilos, that was last week, so I'm guessing it's around 10 kilos now. And I don't even know if I'm holding the camera straight, but fuck it, we'll find out. Oh, you're licking your lips now, ain't you, son? Ready? Sit. Good boy. That's it. Good boy. And go. He's in. He's devouring the food. He's destroying that jet. Right. As Hendrix is eating food, I was gonna explain something before I went for the walk, didn't I? Right, so I'm gonna sit down and shit. It's gonna get all it's gonna get all the mosh. Basically, how am I gonna start this? Um, I'm working on something with my mate at the moment, and I never thought I'd be able to do it while I'm doing, because Right, it's gonna sound sad and soppy. But when I left school, I left school with an E in maths, I think a D in English, D in science, but I got like, I passed, I did a BTEC course in art, I passed in that. Oh shit, I almost shot the camera. Basically, yeah, I wasn't a, what you call a grade A student. I never took ICT, but me and my friend, we're both roughly just well, I'm four years older than he is. Both roughly got the same grades. We never took ICT in school, but we've managed to build a website and an app. We didn't have a clue what coding was. We didn't have a... Did you enjoy that? You're back already? Was that good? Hey, was that good? You enjoy that? Hey, good boy. Devoured it already, beast. Anyway, where was I? We didn't have a clue what coding was. We didn't know how to do it. We didn't know what to do it on. We didn't know what software we needed to do it. Anything at all. We literally jumped off a cliff blindfolded and hoped for the best. We had an idea and we just 
we just did it. I mean, we had nothing to lose. <laughs> and I thought I'll, that relates to some of you guys. Like, if you have an idea and you don't have a clue what to do, or you have an idea but you don't have a clue how to do it, or or how to come around to do it, or you think, oh, I can't do that, I haven't got this qualification, that qualification, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I never did that in school. Well, I never took ICT in school, but yeah, I managed to build a website and an app. You know, it's if you can do whatever you want to do, if you put your mind to it, and I know that sounds cringy and just cringy, <laughs> but if it's just like to do with your body, if you want to lift weights, you want to teach people, you don't have a qualification, just learn as much, as much, as much, as much as you can. Get to the physique, because there's no point being, I find this, if you're like a personal trainer, but you're fat, and you're like, why should I listen to you when clearly you don't practice what you preach, right? So, if you look amazing, no matter what qualification you have, people are going to fucking listen to you, because you're like, oh shit, I want to look like you. You obviously know what you're doing. Yes, you don't have it on paper, but, you know, you can still teach people to achieve what they want to achieve because you know more than them because look at you compared to them. They want to be like you. So you shouldn't let qualifications hold you back. Now, I know in a fitness industry, if you want to be like a nutritionist or, or, or there's some weird other ones or like personal trainer, you need to do courses so you teach people the right ways, but that shouldn't hold you back. I mean, if you love fitness and you want to do it more, learn about it on YouTube because there's a shitload of videos out there for it. And teach yourself and it'll be like second nature for you. I mean, don't know why I'm going with this, but what I'm saying is if you have an idea and you don't know what to do, just do it and see what happens. I don't want to sound like Shia LaBeouf and go, just do it! Oh shit, you're falling over, dog. Oh God, right. I'm finishing this video off, you little bitey bastard. Anyway, yeah, if you have a dream, if you have an idea in your head, you're on a company you want to start, you don't have a clue, just follow the first step, believe you can do it, and just charge it. As I said before, we had a website and an app, we didn't have a clue what to do, how to do it, what it entails, and we literally hit every speed bump, every obstacle, every... It was hard as fuck, you know, we didn't, we had a load of problems we didn't even know we needed to do, we didn't, it's like everything we had... I'm trying to fucking say this without fucking up the words. But it was really hard, it was really difficult, but we never gave up. We just pursued with it, we YouTubed it, we Googled it, we asked for help on forums. Because we had this idea, we think, oh, this is going to be amazing, and we just did it. Without any knowledge or experience or shit like that we had behind us. It was just an idea and a dream, and we just did it, and it's now been created. The app's called Drive in Heaven. People are downloading it. It's on iOS and Android. People are getting we're getting great reviews from it. People are loving it. So it's like if I never if I just assumed that I couldn't do it, this never would have happened. So it's like it's like wow, <laughs> you know, people across the world are downloading an app that me and mate created. It's just it's like what the fuck. <laughs> I've always wanted to do something web based. But I never, I've never did ICT in school, so I thought, how the hell am I going to do this? But with the internet how it is now, anyone can achieve anything very easily. So if this is inspirational to you, just if you have an idea, do it, guys. And never look back, never give up. Anything is possible. I hope you liked this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the time with Hendrix. Say goodbye. You're so black, you're blending in with the floor. You're just eyeballs. And tea from tongue. So guys, like this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.